What the heck is that? Indeed. Um, do you guys usually sit down? Hot dog. <laughs> well, good morning. Um, without using the adjective tired, <laughs> how are you this morning? I love it. Sleepy. Decent. <laughs> All right. I will take all of those answers. Um, well, I, this morning, am also a little on the exhausted, sleepy, decent side. But I will muster all my energy uh, to, to be with you all this morning. So I brought this because this helps me to explain what a bishop does, because I often get that. What does a bishop do? So this symbolizes what I do. Um, now, this is a really blingy version of what would be carried by a person in real life. But what does it look like? It looks like a staff. Excellent. Any particular kind of staff? Who do you think might carry a staff like this? It looks like a shepherd hook. Perfect. Then we have not stylized it so much that it doesn't look like that anymore. It's exactly right. It's a shepherd's crook. Now, a shepherd would use this in a couple of ways. How would a shepherd use this? Do you have any idea about how sheep herding works? City slickers. <laughs> so a, shep a shepherd would use this in two primary ways. Eh, three. One, to walk up a steep hill, like a walking stick. Two, to whack wolves over the head. So if there were people, there were wolves or predators trying to get at the shepherd's sheep, kathunk, this would work very well for that because it's pretty heavy. So it's to protect the sheep. The other way, now this one does not work well for this, is that a shepherd, if a sheep gets itself into trouble, this is usually open, and it goes around the sheep's neck in order to pull it back to safety. The other way that the shepherd could use it is to use this end and just draw the sheep sort of back to where they're all together so that nobody is out in left field. So the shepherd's staff is protective and gathering. That's what I do. I protect and I gather. That's the purpose of a bishop. And I do that in a region, in an area, because believe it or not, there are people out there who want to do harm to the church of God. And it's my part of my job as bishop, as shepherd of this big flock, to help find those people. I don't literally whack them on the head, <laughs> no matter what I might want to do. Um, I figuratively whack them on the head. And if there are congregations or individuals that might be straying a little to one side or the other, I might gently draw them back or a little more forcefully pull them back from the edge in order to protect them. That is what a bishop does. And I am delighted to be here today to have to do neither of those, but just to hang out, because that's the other thing that a shepherd does. Usually they have like a ukulele or the ancient version of a ukulele 
um, and they play songs for the sheep and sing to the sheep. Um, I will not be doing that for you today. Um, so thanks for coming up here and learning a little bit about what a bishop does. Um, I don't know what your normal tradition with Pastor Steve or Deacon Lindsay is, but I'm going to pray with you before you go back to your seats. Would that be all right? Let's pray. Dearest Jesus, you are really the good shepherd. You are the gate and the voice. You are the one that calls us together. You are the one who protects us. We thank you for other shepherds that try to walk in your ways. Shepherds like Deacon Lindsay and Pastor Steve. Thank you for the gifts that they bring. And for each one of us in our lives, help us to be an aid to the shepherds to keep our fellow folks far away from danger and to help defend them when they find themselves in harm's way. Help us always to listen to your voice. Amen. Thank you all so very much.